Welcome to Bernhard Woodwork. Today I'm going to give you a quick introduction on the art of veneer and what makes quality veneer work. So first we start off with your material selection and first of all your specie and then your cut of your specie of, of veneer. This is a flitch of veneer, a flitch of walnut in this case, and you can see that the tree has been sliced into leaves. Each of these individual packets are bundles of veneer, uh, and you can cut that walnut tree up in different cuts and different grain. This, for instance, is a uh, plain slice log. You can see here as the log goes through that uh, uh, the grain changes. This is the heart of the tree, the top of the tree. Here's a different walnut tree with a much wilder grain and a much more distinct color. This is a quartered walnut, which is essentially the edges of the walnut tree, uh, the, the, the edge of the, the piece without the cathedrals, without the heart of the tree cut out. The next step once you've selected your species and your color is then to take a look at specifically what you're trying to achieve. Plain slice, you've got the cathedral in the center, you've essentially taken a log and you're slicing across the grain of the log. You've got very tight grain on the edges, very loose grain in the middle, and you've got these distinct characteristic cathedrals. Your big advantage on this is you have a lot of variety in the log. Uh, you'll have a lot of variety going through the tree because the grain changes quite a bit. Uh, and uh, uh, you'll have nice wide leaves. So you take a look at these two pieces which are plain slice. You have very wide leaves, uh, a lot less stitching labor uh, to create your panel. This is our guillotine and this is where we trim our veneer. This is Mike Coranta, he heads our veneer room. Uh, basically what we need to do here is once the flitches are picked uh, we, and, and the drawings are made, uh, we actually blueprint match our panels. So he's got to take the drawings and he's got to lay out all of his veneer and then trim and clip it to uh, size. So the guillotine, go ahead Mike. Uh, the guillotine here, he's trimming off all of the sap wood, which is right here, uh, and uh, uh, all of the light colored wood. He'll trim out all of the defects, all of the mineral streaks, so any, uh, when a tree grows, it actually physically takes minerals out of the soil and deposits them in there. Uh, a lot of folks won't cut those out. Uh, they consider those natural uh, in the wood. We do, uh, we, to, in order to create a more high quality product. We also use a guillotine. A lot of shops will use uh, a, a saw to cut their veneer. Uh, the problem with a saw blade is it actually wobbles a little bit. So you really don't get a nice tight seam in the veneer uh, like you do on a guillotine. This is our veneer press, which is uh, basically how we apply the veneer to the faces. Uh, go ahead, Mike. Uh, first, it goes through a panel cleaner to clean off any residual dust from the piece. Uh, it then goes through a glue spreader here, uh, which spreads the glue on the piece, both top and bottom. So you'll see the glue on both sides there. And the, uh, uh, the, the stress of that glue drying will actually physically warp the panel. So really critical that you have veneer on both sides. We'll put the backer down here, and then uh, the panel will come up. And the whole panel, now imagine it's a much bigger panel, but the whole panel will tilt forward and we'll press our pieces. And the panel will go into the press, which is a hot oil press. This is a 13 foot by six foot press, hot oil. Uh, and you can actually see the veneer curling up slightly just from the little bit of wetness of the glue. You can really see that light dark. And what's really cool is if you go from one side to the other, the light dark will change. So if I spin this panel around, see how this becomes light and this becomes dark? That's, that's a really good example of why that pour is so critical. Isn't that cool? That's our whole veneer process, guys.